All right, we brought you coverage of a surprising announcement from Mayor Ted Bowling in Decatur at the City Council work session last night. He announced he would no longer stay for most public comments after what he claims are false information and threats. Our Jasmine Bird is live in the studio with more. And Jasmine, what can you tell me about the community's response to the mayor? Yeah, Kanisha, so community members made it very clear that this move put a stamp on what they feel is a lack of government. And here's a listen at, at that meeting. Public comments initially provided a valuable avenue for community expression. It has become evident that many comments are no longer constructive. Over the last four months, the public comment portion of the Decatur City Council meetings have been a place where the community can voice their frustrations about the death of Steve Perkins. Now, due to what he calls personal attacks, Mayor Tab Bowling has decided he would no longer be a part. Some have resorted to baseless accusations and threats directed towards me, my family, city council members, and others in the city. I do not believe that these false comments and threats are reflective of the people of Decatur. This didn't sit well with community members in attendance. Two things I want you to notice, uh, Councilman, is that your mayor has left you high and dry again. 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 You will now have to face the people by yourself. I just want to know if y'all heard threats. Did y'all hear threats or anything? He's no, I can I can address that if you want. It's more of just the uh, the tone try, trying to have a, a productive meeting. That's productive. A, just I mean, just just like any courtroom type or hearing. I, I didn't know. feel threatened. I, I know. I know y'all don't feel threatened because nobody in here has done anything, ma'am. If you get if you say I'm tired of people calling me murderers and all this this and that and other, can you just get up and walk off your job? Yeah. Why should he be able to? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. That's hey, crazy. Let Mr. Craig talk. Thank you. That's crazy. We still want to believe some good in you, but that's running thin. Very thin. Because all five of you could vote to get him out. During the work session, there were also questions about the parade ordinance. Uh, basically, to make sure that we understand that if you have a items that affect the street, sidewalks, public space, ingress, ingress to buildings, then you, you need a permit. If you don't do those things, you don't need a permit. That's simple as that. Now, another thing to note is that the amended parade ordinance is expected to be voted on at the next Decatur City Council meeting. Can he